The following contains spoilers from the November 6th episode of Paramount Plus S Seal Team. As Paramount Plus S Seal Team delivers its shocking ending in this season's 10 episode 8th episode, you may have found yourself equally worried about Bravo member Sunny, even as one's thoughts turn to Clay's wife, Stella, and how she would eventually receive the tragic news. Quinn's reaction. After all, the kinship between Sunny and Clay was legendary, building brick by brick after a rough start to season one and ultimately filled with brotherly love and many nicknames. TV Line spoke to show vet AJ Buckley about Sunny's own feelings about Clay's, his best friend Max Theriot's departure from the show, and more. Related Stories Tulsa King Premiere Recap Will you go on another tour with Stallone Drama? Tulsa King Premiere Recap Will you go on another tour with Stallone Drama? SEAL Team Recap Post Morning Now prepare for the heaviest final ever. TV LINE Who brings the news to AJ Buckley that Max is leaving the show and that Clay is going to be killed? I think, actually, Max told me. Max told me when. Max and I became very close throughout the show. He is one of my best friends. Our kids were born a few months apart in that first season, and all sorts of things, Southwest we got incredibly close, and it was really hard to hear. But I knew this was an opportunity for him to kind of stretch out, co-producing, and starring in CBS Fire Country. I guess it was hard for everyone, but especially for me because it was one of the best parts of going to work. Max and I used to go to work together every day, so I lost my battle boo. There's definitely a gap. He's a great guy on and off screen. He's the spice of the world and probably one of the best guys I've ever met in the business. That's why I'm going to miss him, man. I will miss my friend. TV LINEAN as an actor, at some point from now on, your mind will be, oh man how is Sunny going to react to that? Yes. Yes. And I was really grateful for a showrunner, Spencer Hudnut, and a directing EP, Chris Cholak. Spencer had some conversations with me about the approach they're going to take, and how painful that would be for Sonny. I mean, there's a real feeling of losing him in a way, especially in the finale as well. And then, during the two episodes he directed, sitting with Chris, 9 and 10. There are a lot of things that happen, and more of these moments, and there are moments that I really lose, but then we have to get back to the battle. So it was really about trying to pick out the moments, to get some kind of balance with where I left off. It was tough, but I really felt great support from Chris and Spencer for helping me to get over emotionally and tell the story of this grief without ruining everything all at once and then tell the story of how these warriors came to be. It can go through something like this and then close that and go back to task. I was amazed at how these special ops guys were able to push that button and stay focused on the mission when they lost such a brother and with the risks placed on them. It is a quality that many men fail to do. That's commendable, and that's why our special ops are the best in the world. TV LINE this Sunday's episode actually touches on that quite a bit, and I wonder, you know, can a team in real life choose to back out after facing such a devastating loss? You know, I asked this question, and depending on the circumstances and available assets, if things happen but you are the only game in town, then unfortunately you have to complete the quest. That's all I really like about our show, and the first thing Chris Chulak and Spencer said at the beginning is about staying true to what happens in real life. I definitely asked the question, why don't we go home? How are we going to focus? And our advisors said that if the command says you have to finish the job, you have to finish the job there's nothing you can do, that would be just insane. Also, this was the first episode that Max wasn't there, he was no longer on the call list, and I remember how that affected me. I was like, oh man, that's real, he's not on the show anymore. But that's what I love about the show, is that these guys really stick to what they've been through. TV LINE If I'm the strip center cop who accidentally shot Clay, how worried am I about the Bravo brothers finally returning to America? Laughs, ah, mall cops. Mall cops, nobody likes mall cops. No, I think they're on it, you know. Unfortunately, what happened to Clay was a wrong place, wrong time scenario. So no, I don't think any mall cops out there would have to worry about revenge. TV line, my feelings for you as a screenwriter are very complex, 
I told Spencer Hudnut, at the beginning of our conversation last week, given the way Clay was killed. It was a very bad punch. Just devastating. Oh yes. I feel for Spencer, man. It's not easy to get into this position because Max is a great guy to be on set, a very positive person who has a deep knowledge and is loved by the fans. But I think Spencer did a good job and did the best he could in the circumstances given to him. TV LINE What would you like to say next week about how this season will end and where it left us? Oh man. I mean, it's a gut wrench. There's a scene in episode 10 that is one of the hardest scenes I've ever done in my career. I'll leave it to that. Want the scoop for SEAL Team or another show? Email inside linetvline.com and your question can be answered via Matt's Inside Line.